Hey everybody, my name is Tektos and this is Let's Play Old World. We're back with Queen Miha the Mason for a new season of seven episodes of Let's Play Old World. And we got a bit of conquest to do. We still have space on that island. Thrakens to kill, settlements to take. Lucky if we are that. We might get this one here as well and the Assyrians won't take it. Best case scenario is they get to war with Greece, though I highly doubt it. Actually, they're at war with Carthage now, which is not quite good for us, because they're also at war with uh, Babylon, and Carthage is already pretty weak. So I would like them... I would like them to stay relevant, just as a buffer for Greece and the Assyrians here. <clears throat> so we might intervene. Um, the problem is we have the uh, Babylonians in our neck, but one thing after the other. Before we get into uh, actually playing, we'll have a couple of things to address. Number one, uh, the game has added a uh, button for skipping licensed tracks. So I use that and now have playing music in the background again, because I think it's quite good. Um, it's really subtle, it doesn't really interfere much, but it adds a touch of atmosphere to the game. And uh, that's that's really what the game is about, I think. Um, creating that that uh, old world atmosphere and that um, kind of roleplay element in it. And the music really helps with that, I feel. So, at least most of the tracks. Uh, but you will let me know in the comments, and uh, hopefully we can keep that playing without getting copyright claims. Though the developers did actually uh, contact me, they did actually comment on the video, and they uh, asked me to send them tracks that get flagged. So that's um, that's quite awesome, because then we can just send them the tracks, and eventually, after a couple episodes, it uh, will be good to just let the music play. Right, that's number one. Number two, uh, the game has been released uh, yesterday. Or by the time I upload this video, it's going to be uh, two days ago, three days ago. So probably some of you are very new to the channel looking for information on how to play the game. Because there's a lot of stuff going on with all these buttons and screens and whatnot um, here and there. It is quite extensive with the information. So uh, first of all, welcome if you are new to the channel. And uh, second, I did a bit of explanation at the start of the series. So you might want to rewind, go back to episode number one. Um, I'll introduce the gameplay mechanics a little bit over the first couple of episodes. And uh, if that's not enough or you don't want to go back and you just want to follow it from where it is now, just let me know in the comments. I'll happy to answer some questions and also give me some input on if you like a tutorial on the game or something on, along those lines. Um, yeah, I never did much of that, but I might do it for Old World because it really is a lot of information. It would be really a shame if the complexity um, stops you from game playing this game, because it is really awesome once you're in it. And uh, number three, I want to highlight a, a great comment that was um, posted, I don't know which episode it was, but um, informing me that Egypt in fact did not build their pyramids using slave labor. I was not aware of that. Um, I fell into the trap, probably most of you did, uh, that Hollywood set for us, um, making it, repeating that image of slaves pulling stones up to the pyramids, up to the point where I just believe that to be my knowledge. Um, but it is not my knowledge, it's just a stupid image in my head uh, that got corrected. I did some reading up on it, and while it's not conclusive evidence, like we have a report written on it, and we have, uh, you know, the tax sheets of the workers that built the pyramids, there is uh, quite, quite a lot of uh, information on leading you to conclude that it's probably mostly workers. I mean, there, Egypt had slaves, and they uh, probably were involved in carrying the the stones and whatnot, the building materials and uh, that stuff to the pyramids. But the actual building was done by laborers, paid and apparently really paid well. So uh, interesting fact, I was not aware of that. And uh, keep them coming. If there's more information like that on the history of Egypt or of uh, things I did wrong, get wrong, love to hear about it. All right. Um, so you can uh, wake up from your slumber now because we're uh, we're going to play some game. Uh, we're going to do some gameplay, I was about to say. Um, if I didn't lull you to sleep with all those stories. I tried making up for it by speaking fast, but hey, <laughs> it only goes so far. Okay, we'll send this settler over here. Um, yeah, we want to go here. The thing is, the game has a weird mechanic that I can't... Like, if I click here, it'll make up this action queue, but then it won't actually execute it. Which is really weird. That's the reason because that unit is standing here. So if I click here, we have an action queue, and now the unit... I'll do that. All right, and then we'll just go through the workers as we do. I um, mean, pair subdu. We do have a bit of a need for more culture, because I did decide on taking that risk 
waiting for Persopta to get strong in culture, so we build a wonder in here, so we don't have them all in Vasset. So, uh, or Vasset, or however you want to pronounce it. Beautiful graphics, by the way, as I scroll in trying to catch that worker underneath this city icon. So, what we do, we have a garrison coming up here. I uh, know a hamlet coming up here, sorry. We have the garrison here already. We have space around garrison for our barracks and range, which get the bonus being adjacent to it. So, and the uh, Orion does get, uh, yeah, get 20% bonus per adjacent hamlet. So, I'm thinking we'll place the Odeon right here in the forest, um, or maybe here. Here's also good, costs less. Yeah, 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 we'll build you here. That seems a perfect place. It's adjacent to that. Um, yeah, that's awesome. We are already adjacent to the trade network, whatever that is. Um, gives us plus 10, so we'll make 20 extra gold. We're now known as the architect. Well, that went quickly. <laughs> so now we have a new title. Every episode, man. But uh, it's kind of fun. It's kind of interesting to see which titles they came up with. So uh, here we had that plan. If I remember correctly, we wanted to expand our influence here. That didn't quite work as I had it planned. Um, which is annoying me a little bit. Uh, we could build a hamlet up here. build a hamlet here because we are adjacent to the road then so that'll give us plus 20 and then we could build the Odeon there we could also go with the hamlet uh, where are you could also go with the hamlet here and build the Odeon up there and then we build a specialist in the Odeon and that might get us this tile and then we'll find a way to get or we actually what can we build here is there something of interest? Not really. Well, we could build a hamlet here, though. Huh. That'll give us these tiles here, and that'll give us access to a marble deposit, which will give us extra civic points, which, as we know, are muy importante. So I think that's the smarter play here. So we'll go for this hamlet here, adjacent to the uh, gold mine. Bit of a weird spot, but... Okay, and you guys will exploit the pearls here in Janet. Yeah. Do that. It's gonna give us some culture, some extra things, and most of all it's gonna give us a luxury resource that we could use to combat that pesky unrest we're faced with. Okay, and here we're now finally able to build cold baths. What's the plural of bath? Huh? That's a challenge to your English speakers. <laughs> What's the plural of bath? Baths. I, my German tongue couldn't form it. It's, it's too hard. Um, so we... <laughs> oh man, yeah, it's good when you crack up on your own jokes. That really... That's the quality in people that is really admired. Especially on parties when you're <laughs> standing there on your own telling jokes and laughing about it. Not weird at all. Anyway, where was I? Yes, uh, baths do need adjacency to cold water. Or to water in general. Apparently it's also sufficient. Yeah, because we don't have a river here. This here is a... Oh, it's a lake. Okay, so uh, they do need adjacency to fresh water. So that limits the amount of bath I could build. I really need to know the plural now. Amount of baths just sounds wrong. Anyway... Good. So now we have um, we have barracks coming up here. I think I'll just go for the garrison here, honestly. Garrison and then the range here. Oh no no! But first we need to yeah. First we need to build a road. Um, let's see. We need to connect to Sima beheaded. Hmm. Do we want to connect here, or do we want to connect there? I think this here is the better road connection, honestly. Yeah. We'll go here. We have that stone available, and it's really important, as I explained last time, or I don't know, I explain stuff uh, multiple times usually. Um, it really does help a lot if you can move military units fast. Alright, and then uh, one of my 
viewers has a bad case of OCD triggering because I didn't get those <laughs> I didn't get those ruins yet and I can relate to that feeling so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna make life a little easier for you and get that the ancient barbarians our men find murals depicting creatures rituals and battles the style is reminiscent of the Thrakens leading us to believe that the tribe was perhaps a present what uh, the that this tribe was perhaps a precursor to their own. Uh -huh. Our troops warn against desecrating such a site. The Thrakens are very protective of their culture, and of course, there's much to be learned from these ruins. Uh, we could get one discipline. I think I don't care, though. We are um, not only... Oh, well, that's a difficult decision for a different reason that you might think. We might be... I mean, we're at war with them, so desecrating their culture might be something that... Yeah, that really behooves us. Like, make them angry, make them relentless. Um, that is actually the smart tactical thing to do. But, Miha the Architect is a somewhat creative scholar. She's a, somewhat of an artist. So, in that sense, you wouldn't want to destroy a a cultural site. The question is, do we find redeeming... She's a heckler, so that leads me to push toward making use of the goods. She's an inspiring scholar, though. And an artist, an exotic. Hmm, that is really difficult. I mean, I would really like 160 science. I would really like the extra stone, and I would really like to piss off these Thrakians. And I think we'll make the we'll make the excuse that she's a heckler, and that it really is a smart decision in terms of strategy, and she's wise enough to know that. So that's my excuse. But probably, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's my excuse. But it's just so good. I mean, I can't I can't skip it. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we also have this one, but we don't have the movement points to get it. Oh, we do. We do. Ooh, no, we don't. We don't. We need to get it with the horses, because we certainly don't want the uh, spearmen here to block this city side. I don't know how far they can walk. Oh, up to here. Because of the forest, apparently. Okay, then. We can get it. We can get it. Comet sighted. Our scouts didn't discover anything interesting in these ruins. However, they report that while they were searching them, they witnessed a large comet streak across the sky above. It's an omen. Fascinating observation. I think that's pretty clear. I mean, we're a scholar. We're yeah, but it's, a, it's just a fascinating observation. Oh Jesus. Uh oh, Lordy, Lordy. Um, I think we're gonna. Gonna make use of... Uh, oh god. That was not so great. Um, Peltasts. Quite a few of those. Uh, Misa thinking we want... Uh, we want to buy ourselves... Yeah, I was... I'm capped at training anyway. So we want to buy ourselves some orders. But first of all, we're gonna buy ourselves a force march. But buy some orders too. We need to flee from this here. Very expensive. Okay, we can go here. And then if we buy another order, we could go here. Okay, that is not the smartest way to get rid of these... Um, of these orders. But, uh, hey. <laughs> it is the way we have. Alright, so we could actually redraw tech, because we don't really need hydraulics. It's a very long research. Battle line. We get the maceman. I mean, that's that's a pretty good unit. Costly in iron, but we do have a lot of it, so we could upgrade and instantly improve our strength. That could actually be very, very helpful. Um, what else? We have monasticism. Uh, we could then get 
state religion. Oh no, we can't. We can't, hang on. Religion. Um dum bum 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 here. We would need World religion or divine rule, which both we don't have. And we don't have the civics to uh, to go for it. Mm -hmm. So, or we could unlock citizenships, get the courthouse for extra civics. I think that's the smartest. That's the smartest. We need some order in our growing cities. And uh, that's that's the way to get it. All right, so now we got two cities that need production. Uh, Tamiat is number one. We got the uh, apprentice officer in here. So now we have a lot of training points here. And I'm thinking we can't afford to not build military. The question is, what do we need? We got axemen and a couple archers here. Mm, yeah, we're decent on melee. Maybe one more Axeman, just so I don't spend the wood, because I could use it for wonders. But by the time we build wonders, we're probably good on it anyway. So I'll get the... I'll get the Archer there. Interestingly, we could waste 50 stone, get a Slinger, because um, they bolt faster, and then upgrade it to an Archer. But I won't do that. Okay, so there's that, and in Janet, what did we build? Uh, we built a worker here, so that's good. And now we'll just get a forum, get that out the way early, so we have extra civic points. And uh, yeah, that is that. Okay, right, so now we don't have any more orders. We can't upgrade... Oh, we can. Promotions... No, we can't. It, promotions also consume orders. So orders are really, really... Uh, coin debasement. Yeah, that would really be helpful. They're really hard to get. But uh, once we can buy them with money, we're probably alright, because we're really making a lot. First turn. I'll take a sip of tea to that. Mm-mm-mm. Good old chamomile tea in the evening. Apparently helps you sleep. And calms. Ooh, what the... There's a lot. Um, the oligarch, the fairy tactician has died. Oh, we forgot to set a... Mm, that's great. We forgot to set a governor in our um, Per Soptu, I think. Um, our... Okay. Cannot let go from... Uh, he's a bitter person now. Welp, not too great, but it's not too bad. King Consort has listened to the Guerrillas of Cities. He reduced discontent in Persop. Wow, okay. That is very cool. So we're down one level here. Very, very nice. Um, Spymaster has successfully slandered your rival, but was exposed. Aye, minus 40. All nations. Oof. And we have influenced King of Babylon. But appears weak. Becomes influenced by me and will get minus one legitimacy, huh? Oh god, okay, so we have a lot of things there. Um, suspected spy. One of our agents in Ramesside households reports that a prisoner is being held secretly in the family dungeons. The captive is an ambassador of Assyria who has encountered overzealous Ramesside guards on the road to the capital. They have subdued him and now holding him as a spy. We would expect to receive an angry message from Assyria any day now. Okay, so we get minus 40 by Assyria and plus 40 from our... Uh-huh. Or we could take a hit in the... in the opinion of Ramesside. Mm. He's stronger than we are. That's interesting. But they are at war with Carthage. And we have a peace with Babylon, I think. Yeah, we have a peace with Babylon. So it shouldn't be too easy for them to attack me. So I think I could take on Assyria by now. 
It's going to give us plus two discipline. On the other hand, it's going to give us plus one discipline, plus one charisma. We'll become compassionate and we'll lose support of the Ramesides, which we could also take, is a hit we could take. Probably the smarter decision here. Yeah, we're not yet eager to go to war. The more we can grow and expand before that, the better it is. Request for tools. A letter arrives from Duke Meren Ptah describing his classes. Hours spend learning stimulating debates among peers and tutors. Knights spend exploring the heavens. Whatever that means. Probably drinking, huh? At the end of a letter, a postscript reads, If you could spare the money, I would like to buy some tools for my studies. I understand if you cannot. Well, he's the fourth in line, but... Uh... What are these? Herbalist. It's good for general. Carpenter is good for governor. Educated is just good overall. Um, 600 is quite a hefty price, but... Yeah, I think we'll, we'll invest it in the education. We do have the money, we make a lot of it, and she should value um, the she should value education. Being a scholar herself, I think it makes sense. And an artist is not the best in managing money. Anyway, winter solves this. It is winter and snow crushes beneath your feet. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go with the flow. The sun rests low in the sky, and the winds whistle among your clothing, freezing skin at their touch. Your family members of the court have gathered to celebrate the winter solace, solstice uh, and pray for the yearly return of the warmth. Darkness reigns triumphant, but only for a time as the court joyously celebrates the dark's certain downfall. How shall I remember this frigid day and ensure that future generations may enjoy the same? We must reach out and exchange goods, ideas, and dreams with the world. I must figure out a way to make money cost less. That is... Mm -hmm. I must figure out a way of weight to weigh less. We must have a stable colony. Uh -huh. Okay. Monetary reform. Interesting. Um... And we're quite content with what we have. All right. Stable currency, a way to make money cost less. What will that give us? Coin debasement. Can buy, sell orders. Ah, that's that. Okay. Uh huh. That's. Start an ambition. Unlocks convoys. Oh man. But can we fulfill that? I think that makes the most sense for a character though. Must reach out and exchange goods and ideas and dreams with the world. So we'll go with that. We'll see if we can if we can do it. Local brigands. A commander of one of your spearmen squads has received numerous reports of raiders prowling the nation's road walls, roadways. Uh, he seeks the court's support to root out these villains and restore security. What is your response? Track and kill the outlaws. Um, okay, we'll hold that back. If we have the orders to spare, but five is quite a hefty cost. What is the next one? Mercenary War Elephants. A mercenary band of war elephant riders has arrived in the capital, offering its allegiance for a price. Uh, yeah. I'll take an elephant. Thank you very much. Hi there. That is, uh, that is sweet. Alright, so we have you still and uh, promote the queen. Could make her a deal maker. Quite cool. Or we could make an equestrian. Or we could just get her charisma. I think a dealmaker makes sense at, at this stage. Yeah, she's quite diplomatic so far. And charismatic. Starting to love Queen Miha already. She's really competent. Really, really good. And a good looker too. Anyway, so we'll leave that one uh, if we have five orders left over. 
Now let us see. We have built the hamlet and we shall now continue on with the with the thing. Uh, what are you building? Are oh, you building a hamlet? And you have another hamlet here. So what the hell was I doing? So build the Orion here? No, not here. Where can we build it? Um here then, right? Build the Odeon here. Yep. More culture is more better. You are building a hamlet, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, and then we still have two tiles for uh, barracks and range. That's That's still good. Cool, so now we have the barracks here. Adjacent lumber mills, not really, but the Shrine of Neth. And we get some extra culture and some extra money. So we'll go for it. We'll get ourselves a camp here. Very nice. Um, and then here we did get the public bath. So Vasset is now... Yeah, minus 3.8. It's still losing a bit, but it's getting better and better and better. Which is quite nice. Um, what could we get here? An apprentice doctor for extra growth. I'm not sure if we want that. Let's see, if we now build Festival 3, <clears throat> it's going to take us 8 years minus 60. So now it's actually... Ah, it's almost worth it. Um, so what could we do? We could get the forum 2. It's going to give us plus 2. I think we'll get that. The forum and yeah, the walls, then the forum. That's 10 years, and then we'll see how we can reduce unrest here. Okay, so now we could get. Ah, the warm bath. Um, well, there's no other spot where we could build this. Maybe here? Could build it here. Is there anything else? Um, enables heated bath. Yeah, we'll, we'll build it here. One bath. And that should take care of our... Okay, you don't need to move yet. Um, you guys... Okay, you definitely need to move. And uh, then you can just sit around here. Actually, we could... Put a general... No, we have a general on here already. Um, we'll promote you to Eagle Eye. And then you could just sentry here a bit and you could go home for healing again and then it does appear as if we have the orders that is pretty amazing so we'll track and kill the outlaws very cool Okay, and uh, we do have the elephant hanging around, but I mean, if he just moves one field, that's all right. Oh, look at that. You can watch him walk. <laughs> waddle, waddle, waddle. Quite impressive, that. Um, yeah, we don't have the orders to put a general on there or to level him up, but we could waddle him out of the capital. Quite an expensive year in terms of orders, but uh, some things just need to be done. And we had eight events. I mean, that that usually eats up a bit of... Not a bit, a couple of your orders. Self-assured. Mm -hmm. Okay, one charisma. More paganism converters. A general of an archer has died. Not so great. Um, minus one discontent in Persopto. Very cool. Ambassador Marinit completed her mission to establish a trade network with Babylonia. The Babylonians are willing to trade, but the terms are not generous. It doesn't really matter. Um, we just need stable relations with them, so we could go to war with Assyria. We'll pay him some money for science. I think that's the best deal, as usual. Money for civics. Nah, not really. We're going to heavily invest in civics anyway. 
So science, I think it is, because we really slowed down to 78. And, uh, yeah, money for science. Philosophy studies. Now that Mernpat, the lawyer, has completed his study of philosophy, how shall he contribute to the court? He shall be a scholar, a beacon of knowledge. Or a zealot. No, he shall be a scholar, just like me. Because as usual, people think that what you are is is the best thing to be, right? So, local brigands. In a piece of good news. Ah, that's the follow-up event of us uh, chasing those guys with five orders. <clears throat> In a piece of good news, the squad of spearmen we sent to protect the roads has claimed victory. In a heated battle, they killed most of the bandits and chased any survivors into the wilderness. Uh, the threat to travelers and merchants is over. Plus 50, plus 20, okay. It's not the greatest ever, but it's uh, it's something. I will take it. Okay, the settlers can now move on to the city side, so we will remove that Axeman temporarily. Move you here, because that is the best city side here, right? Yeah. Pretty clear, I think. Really? Need to move you too. No! Go away, I want the settler. There we go. Right, so which city we take? Uh, you keep doing that. What the hell? Which city we take? We do have three Ramesside cities, three Saita cities, and uh, three Tutmosis cities. I'm thinking it's uh, Saiti again. We'll keep those in close proximity. And we'll continue on with Tutmosis over here. So... Uh, what is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that is good. Landmark discovered, hey. Cool. Okay, so that island apparently is not connected over here. Mm, that's not too bad, though. And then we have a worker, and we shall... What shall we do with you? We already have a road connection here. So... Probably first gonna go for growth. Get some fish going. Right, and then you guys go for the forum. More civics is more better. And after that we'll find a way to get you busy. Alright, now we have the uh, Pacify City mission. Ah oh, no, we have one more. One more here. Okay, so we have the uh, the pearls now. We do have a luxury resource we could spend. Gems. Um, we'll see where we can put them to use. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Do we go for more growth here? I think we do. We could reach the dice if we... Uh, yeah, yeah, if we got a fisherman here and then... Um, expand the influence to here, we could reach the dice and uh, get just another luxury resource. Alright, so now we have that. Um, and then I think we... in. Jedu, we finished. Yes, we could put in a governor. I forgot that we were able to do that. So, my dear friends, what could we put in here? You are ambassador. Yes, yeah, so every one of those is already a governor here, beheaded, per subdu, and Tamiant. So we have these three here available. Now, you are not bad. Minus three growth, which I think here is not so great, because we have lots of specialists in the wait. So we'll just go with 1.3 extra civics. He's young too. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with you. Summit of Janet. There we go. Level four unrest. Oh, man, oh, man. Let's actually see. We have Persoptu here. Um, 
you have level two unrest. All right, so we don't need to do anything here. Um, we have level four in Vasset as well. But Vasset is actually, yeah, we're, we're building stuff there and uh, I think we're good here. Sema Beheaded is down to level three. Um, well, we can actually just choose a thing to build here. We got the miner now. Yo, and we still got six citizens. Man, that's crazy. Kept getting an apprentice acolyte. Let's see. Um, acolytes, we could go for the next star growth, but not really necessary. We have a wide selection of stuff we could get. Uh, war elephants, no less. But we need some civics. Oh, cool, I didn't know that. Huh. That is a cool new addition. Master Officer, Apprentice, um, is there anything or anyone that will give us civic points? Nope, there's not. Um, could get the Form 2, that's not really... That's not really great. So I think we'll just wait for the court and then invest there. So you guys will build 100 XP for the Spearman. Camel Archer, plus one level. More elephants. Road Panic Saddleborn. I think I'll take a Camel Archer. That looks good. And then in Beheaded, we also have a thing we could build. Apprentice Poet. Ah, lovely. So that city should be growing fast. It actually is already. We're up to level 2 already developing. <clears throat> but we need much more. We only have three specialists. Um, we gain quite a lot of civic points here, though. Here. We might get that forum real quick. Hmm. Oh man, two years for a stone cutter. That's crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. Um, we don't need that much more stone though. We could upgrade you. Oh, sure, that's that's actually rather quick. Um, and then I'll just I'll just wait. I'll just upgrade you. All right, guys, we're uh, way over the time. Um, that first couple turns were a little slow, but I think for the season start and maybe for the season end, I'll always find an excuse to be way over the time. But now we're so much over it that uh, I need to take a break here. Lubricate my throat and then we'll be right back tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, as usual, leave comments if you have any suggestions or just uh, want to praise my high skills as a Let's Player and uh, enjoy your day. See you around for the next one.